Hello, everyone. My name is Adele Taylor. I am with the Garden State Film Festival. And today I am joined with director Michael Basta, who is the director of Bernard Checks In. Michael, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the film and how you, how you kind of got the idea for this film? For sure. Yeah. Um, so the, the film is uh, it's basically like a, a kind of a dark comedy about um, sort of a comedy of errors about a um, mild mannered guy on a business trip uh, trying to be kind of unfaithful to his wife, kind of, you know, committing infidelity. But in that process, finding himself in getting himself into a very kind of uncomfortable uh, scenario with a, with a couple he's trying to make a, a proposition with and ultimately ends up sort of being the mediator to their uh, kind of messy drama and finding himself giving, uh, you know, giving advice for marriage about marriage while also being, you know, doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it kind of sparked, um, it was originally, uh, I have a, uh, this short is based on a sort of prequel almost to a feature I've written sort of a, about the same character on a three day business trip. And um, sort of inspired, oddly enough, inspired by an idea my grandfather had about wow. <laughs> you know, something kind of similar to that. And it, it just kind of sparked the whole kind of bigger thing. And yeah, ended up made it made a short out of it. That's amazing. Now I have to give kudos to you because I did a little research and you have a film and video production degree from mm -hmm. the Massachusetts College of Art and Design. Oh yeah. I, I think it's safe to say that <laughs> not only are you highly qualified to do this and it's kind of your passion. I'm guessing you've been doing this for a while. So mm -hmm. what does it mean to now go from someone who was in college, you know, trying to find their way a little bit to now having a film at the Garden State Film Festival? Um, it's great. I mean, uh, yeah, the college, I mean, yeah, from where I was to where I am now, uh, it's weird how much it seems it was so not long ago at all, but so much <laughs> has happened since then, right? I feel the same way. <laughs> yeah, um, and just the making films, is that whole thing. I think but during college, it felt a little more unattainable to kind of just start making stuff mm -hmm. or, you know, you know, becoming a filmmaker always is a little daunting, but as the years went by, it kind of, you find there's, there's always ways to do it. There's always uh, like-minded friends and filmmakers to collaborate with. And um, yeah, it's just been really, it's been, been working on a lot of different projects and, features and music videos and stuff. And it's just, yeah, it's always been just a really good time and still learning. <laughs> <laughs> As we all are, I'm sure. So <laughs> if someone's watching this and they happen to either go to this college or they're just in college for film or video production, what is a piece of advice you would give to them now kind of being on the other side of things? Mm -hmm. um, I'd say, uh, keep your, keep good friends and mm -hmm. keep in contact with your friends in college. That's a good one. They, yeah. They become collaborators. Um, I still work with a lot of, maybe not so much people. Oh, well, I, I still work with people I went to mass art with, but even other schools too, that people I met during college, I still make stuff with them and, um, yeah, just keep, I don't, uh, don't let sort of money stop. Don't like if you have a big idea for a film that you like, how am I going to ever fund that? Yeah. <laughs> figure it out and or not figure it out, but uh, figure out a sort of frugal way to do some version of it. Or, you know, what I did, like I ever have a feature. So I was like, how do I how do I get any funding for that? So, <laughs> I, <laughs> so one way to do it is to make a short. So um, I love there's that. yeah, there's just so many ways to, to do that. And um, even if it's like a side gig too like I, I have a full-time job and wow I, okay I, I have time to like <laughs> pursue the more passion projects and stuff 
That's amazing. I think that's such great advice. I mean, you hit on networking, which is super important. I always I actually tell my younger brother and sister now, network as much as you can because the people mm -hmm, you go to yeah. college with are the people that will help you find a job, that can connect you to someone, in your case, be a collaborator. So completely agree with the networking. And then also just following your passion. That's so important. And I think you also touch on something that a lot of people kind of have is like a little a, a side hustle. That's your passion mm -hmm. project that you get to do. And you really have to work hard to make sure that it happens. Yeah, absolutely. Love that. Now, kind of switching gears and getting back to the film itself, I see has been nominated for several different um, nominations from best comedy short to best comedy and best director to the best comedy. How do you go about choosing which um, festivals to, to enter this to this film to? Uh, it's kind of a mix. I get um, some some through word of mouth, just like friends or actually this film, this festival was recommended through one of the actress in my short. Ooh. She, Ashley Platt, she won um, last year or maybe two years ago. She won, I think, Best Actress, like overall Best Actress at, at this festival. So she's she just told me like, yeah, you should, this is a great festival. You should check this out. Um, so yeah, word of mouth or even just um, kind of just perusing Film Freeway, the, okay. the site for, for finding festivals and just reading the reading the descriptions and stuff. And now, like through that, now I just get like emails like you. Here's another festival. Discount code. Like, it's just that good. People are soliciting you because they want the film. Better they okay, want. Or they want my money. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations for that. Congratulations so on being accepted to the Garden State Film Festival. Also taking it to the film, I, I have to ask, what was the best part about making this film? Oh man. I know. Um, Hard one. Take probably, a moment. <laughs> <laughs> probably just working with all those actors. They're all, it was kind of my first real um, true, like fully SAG um, cast. Like I've worked with some SAG actors before, like, but not like a full union. Well, not union as in crew, but union cast film. And just working with them was like, they just immediately just like clicked in them. Like they understood the characters so fast and Wow. And very little, and they made my job pretty easy. Like they, they very little uh, finesse or very little like reworking stuff. Like they'd get it pretty, pretty spot on. And it was just so funny. Like so much, so many deliveries were just like on set. It's hard not to laugh like while we're <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> well, it's good that you had a nice environment of joy and laughter. Nobody wants to be tense while working on a film. Yeah, yeah. So it was definitely, it was a tense shoot. It was some, it was a two day shoot. So very long hours, but luckily morale was, was pretty good throughout. <laughs> just two days. So tell us a little bit more about the process. You just said that it, it took two days to shoot. What was the editing? I mean, in, in the total time span from start to finish, what would you say that was like? Um, I think it, I, mean, I think it maybe took about, yeah, two days of shoot. It was probably three or two months of prep or pre-production. Wow. And then the editing, I wasn't like um, trying, I didn't have like any deadlines. So there was like some time of just like kind of not working on it. <laughs> but, but the editing maybe took like another six months or so um to kind of yeah, get a cut I, a lock cut I liked and then trying to source uh audio mixing and uh color correcting and that's a lot <laughs> <laughs> what was your motivation for for rack for staying motivated throughout that process I mean it it sounds like it was a long process I'm sure even though there were amazing highs I'm sure there were probably some obstacles so mm. how did you stay motivated to finish it um I just uh, I think it was really just kind of, I loved just the performances and the, in the cinematography, my, my good friend and collaborator, Carson Lund shot it. And, um, I don't know, just looking at the footage when I was editing, I'm just like, this guy, I got to finish this. this is <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see it done. Yeah. Sort of, sort of just the motivation was just kind of that. And, um, and in the trying to get this 
the ball rolling for uh, potential trying to find uh, funding for the feature version, trying to get moves going <laughs> and, and yeah, not be totally lazy and, and just let things kind of sit on the burner, which I do for other projects and stuff. <laughs> well, it sounds like you were really motivated with this one and it seems like it definitely paid off well with all of these nominations. Thanks. So last question I've got to ask, what's next for you? What is there any special project coming down the pipeline or? Uh, yeah. A in, give us a little insight. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Um, so I'm a part of a production company that me and my friends made called Omnes Films. And right now I actually, um, one of the writers, my friend actually, who I just mentioned, Carson Lund, he's, he is making a film or we're, we're in the process of making a film now scheduled a feature film scheduled to shoot next October. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of in the very pre-production stages of that. Mm -hmm. And there's in this, in the production, our production company, and it's full of other, you know, uh, filmmakers. We're all sort of, doing our own kind of passion projects, helping each other out. And um, yeah, it's just each one of us has kind of our own thing going and we're all uh, kind of working on that, working on that, like a lot of, a lot of different projects happening at the same time, <laughs> but it's all, yeah, all really exciting. So basically what I'm hearing is that you're still staying busy and still staying motivated oh, yeah. <laughs> for the upcoming project. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, I wish you the absolute best. Thank you so Thank much you. for taking the time to talk to me. I know that everyone else is probably really excited. And for those of you that are watching and wondering how the heck can I watch Bernard Checks In, it will be airing on Saturday, March 26th from 8.30 to 10.45 at the Asbury Lanes for the Garden State Film Festival. So excited. We hope to see you there, Michael. Are you going to be joining us? I it's still pending, but I'm, I'm trying to trying to make the trip. We're working on it. Okay, hopefully yeah. the weather holds up and everything, and you can yeah. join us. <laughs> well, thank you so much again. Thank you. Yeah.